This is 2504 and she's back in for a revisit. Last time she did not look good at all and I was hoping that this time she'll be looking a lot better. And from what I can see, she's walking far better than she was last time. This is the Hoof GP. Look how well they walk. She is walking better. And thanks to you guys, he is walking better too. <laughs> so just to recap, last time I made a bit of a kerfuffle there, stumbled with my words and told you that every cow in this farm was lame. But in actual fact, the only cow was that cow right there. 2504. We got her in the crush. We knew her front right foot was sore. Front left foot, front right foot. We knew one of her front feet was sore because you could tell from the way she was walking and standing. And when we got her foot in the air, it didn't take us long to find the reason why. We did everything we could. We removed all of the loose and detached hoof horn. We attached blocks to our outside claw to take the weight off that inside claw. And like I say, we really went to town doing what we could for her. We let her go and this is how she was walking. As you can see, it wasn't fantastic, but we were hopeful that on this revisit, she'd be walking miles better than she was. So, she's in the crush right now. Let's see how she's doing. So now our foot's in the air and completely cleaned off. Obviously, Bovi Bond is still doing its thing. Still got that TP block totally rock steady. And this hoof never really had much wrong with it at all up the top. It was in here that the real problem was. And if we look from this angle, I couldn't be much happier with that. This was all red and raw and open last time. This is the ulcer site and you can see that it's almost completely fully healed. We'll just remove that little shred of detached hoof horn from roundabout and we'll send her on our way. Provided, of course, that it doesn't go any further than it first appears, which sometimes it does. There's no denying this, folks. There's no getting away from it. This is not going to be a beautiful trim. It's not going to be an expert demonstration of beautiful knife skills. This is doing what we can to further her improvement. You can hear it's absolutely rock hard and that's because she's going through a copper sulfate foot bath fairly persistently, which is drying out the outer layers of this hoof horn, but also us treating it with iodine that would really, really dehydrate the area, which is exactly what we wanted. I'm scratching at it rather than cutting it, aren't I? I don't really care what it looks like though. Catching the inside of our hoof there, which I don't want to do. Let's get rid of that little hook on the end of our foot. When I say I don't care what it looks like, I mean I don't care how terrible my knife skills look here. All I care about is that we're doing good for the cow. I want to smooth out all of these rough edges and make sure there's no cracks because as the hoof horn grows, if there's a crack in it, it'll continue to crack the whole length of that dorsal wall. Meaning it should just end up back at square one. We are making progress, it is exceptionally slow progress here, but we are making progress. The difficulty here is, clearly you can hear how hard that hoof horn is. It literally is like trying to carve stone, but at the same time, her hoof has only grown or thickened up by about 3 millimeters. so if we push too hard and cut too deeply, we'll undo all of the good work we've already achieved. You guys see that little crack right there? You see, it looks like it's nothing and we could just leave it like that, but... I'm not happy with it. That'll just continue to crack. And this hook on this knife is facing the wrong way. Whereas this knife, the hook is facing the right way. So we can now go up the way. You see how there's another layer of that hoof horn going all the way up. 
Oh, that's just hard going. Yep, I'm happy with that. So now look at that. Is that not a beautiful sight? You can see a little bit of bruising in there behind where it's been bleeding out right at the tip of my finger, just there. But it has completely healed. That is what you call a result. I'm really happy with that, but probably not as happy as the cow is. We're still gonna spray it with some iodine just because of obviously the soft tissue there where I've been carving away. But that should be hard totally and utterly treated. This has genuinely progressed much, much faster than I thought it would. Not that I'm disappointed. As she steps out of the crush here, you can see she's still slightly unsure of that front left foot. Obviously, she has a block on it, and we've had it up in the air playing around with it, so it's to be expected. But if you look at this side-by-side -side comparison, there's a really positive difference. Now, if that isn't a result, I truly don't know what is. This is the Hoof GP in a very happy and uplifting mood. Cheers for watching, guys. Catch you later.